Recall that in the previous video we found out the reaction function of the follower of player B in the market and now with this in mind we can calculate the profit of the leader. So we'll use this to compute the profit of player A, that is the leader in the market. So for that we need the profit function of the leader. So the profit function of player A is the difference between total revenues of player A and total cost of player A. So for that we will need the price function to calculate the revenues and the cost function. So let's just crop it from above because we have them over here. We have the price function, so it's this one. And the cost function is given as 10,000 plus 40Q. So just crop the price function to recall it later on. So from here, and let's go below. So over here, this is gonna be our price function. Now with this in mind, let's calculate the profit. So profit of player A is equal to the price times the quantity of player A minus, what was the cost? 10,000 plus 40 times the quantity of player A, so 40 times QA. Now what's gonna be the price? Well, this is the price, 1640 uh, minus all the rest. So let's write it, is equal to 1640 minus two QA minus two QB. All of this multiplied with QA, all of this multiplied with QA minus 10,000, let's open the brackets here, minus 40 QA, so minus 40 QA. Now, remember that we're doing all of this because we want to substitute the quantity of player B in the function. So we're going to substitute this over here and we see what the profit of player A is going to be. Let me zoom out to keep, uh, to keep more space, to get more space uh, and keep the bigger picture so that we can see what we're doing. Uh, yes, like that. So we have profit of player A is equal to 1640 minus 2. QA minus two times, what is QB? We said this is QB, so we substitute it. It's going to be 400 minus one over two times QA, times QA. Close all these brackets, multiplied with the quantity that we're selling with QA, minus 10,000 minus 40 times QA. Now let's open the brackets to simplify this math a bit. So what do we have now? Profit of player A, profit of player A, is equal to 1640 minus two times QA minus two times 400, that's gonna be 800. And then minus two times a half is going to be, is going to be plus QA. So minus two and a half cancels out and the negative signs become positive. So we're gonna have plus QA over here. Uh, yeah, plus QA. Close all these brackets and multiply with the quantity of player A minus 10,000 minus 40 QA. Now, if we, if we solve it a bit, if we solve it a bit over here to, to simplify it, what do we have? We have the following. Profit of company A is equal to 1640 minus 800 is equal to 840. Now, minus two QA plus QA is just going to be minus one QA multiplied with the quantity of firm A. So multiplied with quantity A minus 10,000, 10,000, minus 40 times QA. Okay, let's open the bracket, see what the profit is gonna look like. So let's open the brackets over here. Profit of company A is equal to 840 times QA. So 840 multiplied with QA minus QA times QA. So QA squared minus 10,000, 10,000 minus 40 times QA, 40 times QA. Now, what is what is profit of company A? Let's simplify it a bit. 840 times QA minus 40 times QA. Well, we just take the difference. That's 800 QA minus QA to the power of two minus 10,000. Now, what do we have here? We have again a quadratic relationship between the quantity of player A and the profit of player A with a negative coefficient. So if we plot this on a graph, Again, we have a parabola with a concave shape. So we have profit of firm A, quantity of firm A, and we have a parabola that looks something like this, looks something like this. And now we're interested on the peak of the graph where we maximize the profit. So it's gonna be over here. We're looking for this optimal quantity of A. In other words, we're differentiating the profit of player A with respect to the quantity of player A, make that equal to zero. So how do we do that? We're gonna differentiate every term. 
So we're going to have 800 times QA derivative with respect to QA. That's equal to 800 minus QA squared derivative with respect to QA. It's equal to QA. 10,000 derivative with respect to QA is equal to just zero because it's a constant. So this whole thing must equal to zero. This is equal to zero. If we work out the math here, what do we get? We have that 800 is equal to two times QA, meaning that QA, the quantity of player A is equal to 400. Quantity of player A is equal to 400. We found the quantity of player A. Now, let's also find out the quantity of player B because that depends for our price and later on with the price we can find the profit of player A. So quantity of player B is gonna equal to 400 minus a half QA. And since we found that QA is equal to 400, that tells us that the quantity of player B, the quantity of player B is going to be 400 minus a half times 400. And if we solve this, quantity of player B is equal to 400 minus 200, 400 minus 200. So quantity of player B in equilibrium is equal to 200 units. Quantity of player A is equal to 400 units. Let's use this in our price function. In total, we have 600 units of production. And we know that the price function is equal to this, 1640 minus two times QA plus QB. We know that in total we produce 600 units, as we just said, meaning that the price is equal to 1640 minus two times 600. Well, that's gonna equal to 1640 minus 1200. And the difference is equal to 440. The difference is equal to 440, which means that's gonna be our price. We know how much quantity player A is going to sell. And we also know the total cost function is given over here. And the total cost is equal to 10,000 plus 40 times the quantity of player A. We're doing the total cost for player A because we're calculating now the profit of player A. Uh, quantity of player A we said is 400. So 400 times 40, that's 16,000 plus 10,000, that's equal to 26,000, uh, yeah, 26,000. Now, how much revenue does player A have? The total revenue of player A, the total revenue of player A is equal to the price times the quantity of player A. So total revenue of player A is equal to the price of 440 multiplied with the, multiplied with the uh, quantity that it sells, which is equal to uh, 400. So if we work out this math, let me do it right now on calculator, 440 times 400 is equal to 176,000. So 176,000 euros, let's say. Total revenue of player A is 176,000. We have the total revenue of A. We have the total cost of A equals to 26,000. So if subtract total revenue of A minus total cost of A, which is 26,000, 176,000 minus 20,000, that gives us 150,000 euros in profit for player A, for the leader. And that answers the question. Hope this makes sense. And we are done.